Hey, what's up, universe? It's 11.08 a.m. on Sunday, June 18th, 2023. Today is Father's Day. Uh, I'm going to say I didn't, I don't pay attention. <laughs> so I, I had reason to believe that last, yeah, last week it may have been just from the text that I had received from Angela. Normally, when we talk about that stuff, it's like more immediate. I didn't, like I said, I wasn't paying attention and actually know. So happy Father's Day to the fathers out there. Uh, and again, happy belated Mother's Day. Um, the inspiration for this video is uh, a couple things. Um, one is that I sent a text to a friend of mine, um, what, on Friday. I, he'd been coming up in my mind uh, over the last few days and just kind of, I had been wondering like how he had been doing. And so I messaged him and uh, checked in on, on him and asked him, you know, hey man, I've been thinking about you, how you doing? And um, he responded and opened up about some stuff that's going on. He, um, he's he got some health things uh, going on and so we got to talking and I went over uh, to his house yesterday um, and helped him out. We did some yard work. He mowed the lawn and I picked up yard scrap. Uh, he's got a pretty decent sized lawn, um, but doing that particular activity is is challenging for him at the moment. And so um, he gr thankfully allowed uh, allowed himself to receive some help and it felt good you know to be able to to do that and um and to just connect with him and, and help him out uh, so that was that was cool we hung out for about five or six hours went to dinner i went to a new barbecue place here in kansas city so here's a little bit of promotion um it's uh it's 11 11 sorry it's 11 11 by the way i saw the 11 09 uh, anyway, so the barbecue place is called Slaps Barbecue. Uh, it's in like downtown, almost downtown Kansas City. It's really good. It does slap. Uh, so there's that. So it was just cool because, you know, the way that we connect, uh, this friend and, and I, um, you know, we were able to talk about uh, a lot of good stuff and just be vulnerable. And, and it's, a, it's a good, it's one of these deep, meaningful connections that I have been seeking and that's part of the reason I checked on him and uh and it just reminded me of like a dream that Reese told me about that she had and the message from the dream was you get what you give and this is one of the things that we talked about that Reese and I talked about uh in our relationship because there were some relationships where I would tell her be like you know either I was I might feel disappointed or I might be struggling like understanding why things may be in certain relationships. And so she's, she's like, well, do you, do you do this? And I was like, you know, in the context of me saying I'm not receiving something and she's like, well, do you, do you give that? And I'm like, damn, like, you know, <laughs> I'd have to think about that. And, and, and it was right, you know, like the things that I was pining about or desiring uh, from certain relationships I wasn't necessarily reciprocating or putting in uh, I wasn't relating I wasn't bringing that back to the relationship myself and so it was a reflection of well hey if you're not giving it like what, why, why would you expect to receive it uh, damn there's my responsibility you know so uh, so that came up and I was like, well, you know, this is the kind of connection, like if I was, if the tables were turned and I was in this gentleman's position, I would absolutely appreciate somebody checking in, in on me and, um, uh, providing some help and support. You know, I understand, I can absolutely appreciate like the vulnerability in that and the uneasiness, the, the ego, you know, and. And that's one of the things I, I use the word ego because my friend used that. He's like, yeah, he's like, how to set, you know, it's getting to the point where I have to set my ego aside, you know, and it's like, yeah, that's, I can appreciate that. You know, I've been, I've been in similar positions in college. I burned both of my hands, uh, you know, second degree burns. I walked around with Q-tips for like 
12 days, you know, and try going to the bathroom or cooking your own food. Yeah, you know what I mean? So if I didn't have somebody helping me then, I would have, it would have been a mess, like, you know, so I get it. Uh, and it was, I'm just grateful to be able to, um, you know, show up and, 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 and provide and, and help out, you know, so I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Uh, so that's definitely one thing. And it's just another thing too, like in the middle of like everything that's going on with me, I have my health, you know, and that's, I like the saying that it's like a wealthy man has, or sorry, a healthy man has a million dreams. An unhealthy man has but one, you know what I mean? And it's like, if you don't have your health, like everything else is if you can't enjoy it, if you're not enjoying life, like, it's kind of whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm grateful for that, you know, and I'm grateful too that, uh, what's going on with my friend, uh, is, is something that is, uh, it's a surmountable thing, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, uh, something that is, it's life impacting, obviously, it's not something that can't be, uh, moved through, I'll put, yeah, so... Um, I'm grateful for that too. Um, to speak to, this is kind of stream of consciousness to kind of go along with this. I was telling my friend, um, the visual that's kind of been coming up for me around my own life situation, right? I've mentioned before where I feel like this strange support, like inside of me, I don't know exactly where it's coming from. It feels very, it feels very strong, right? So even in the presence of a lot of chaos that's going on, a lot of uncertainty and, you know, uh, I feel very grounded most of the time. There's a really remarkable feeling inside of me that I haven't quite, I haven't had this stability of feeling inside of me, uh, even though outside looks like, kind of looks chaotic. The, the visual that I used was imagine like a pillar at the bottom of a waterfall. Just imagine a waterfall and then like a, a pillar that's like shooting up, right? And the visual that I use is like, I'm laying on that pillar, right? So this water from this waterfall is just crashing down on me, right? So it's like all of the outside, all of the chaos, all of the uncertainty, all of the things I don't know, all of the finances of whatever, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle of what, what's going on here. That's the water and it's, it's coming down on me and it's just flowing, you know, it's just flowing over me. And so I, I, the internal support is that pillar. So like, I'm not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like I feel supported, even though these things are crashing, uh, down upon me. And I just mentioned that, uh, just cause that visual came up, it's kind of been coming up as a way for me to relate what is, what it kind of feels like inside. Um, and so we were talking about that. My friend has, you know, I've known him for a while and so he's seen me through some of these, you know, ordeals. Um, and so it was a way for me to communicate how it's a little bit, how it feels different than it, than previous times. Um, so that was, uh, so there's that. So yesterday was the full moon, sorry, new moon. And so I did a fire ritual last night. I spent, it depends on on where I'm at, kind of what I'm feeling as far as how long and how many intentions I write. Sometimes it's like a page, sometimes it's two. Every now and again, it's like six or eight pages. And this time it was like six pages. Uh, I probably spent <clears throat> almost four hours writing my intentions over probably two or three days. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I just find that remarkable because, um, uh, I'm curious. The things that came up for me were last night as I'm releasing and as I'm burning these intentions, um, leader, you know, the leadership and all of that came up for me and I have had the title, uh, you know, I'm the Zen desk user developer, user group leader, um, and scouts. I was, you know, the den leader. Um, when I applied for, a, I, I applied for a, a role with zoom, uh, last night and submitted the application right at 1 a.m. Um, the, their application process that picked out from my resume, like keywords, like it already did that. And leadership was, was one of those words. And so 
Uh, and I did that before I did my fire ritual. And so I'm just noting that like I've had the title, you know what I mean? But like there's a difference between having a title and then embodying, you know, such a thing. And not just embodying it, but there's also like my own self image, you know, like, do I see myself as a leader? And I did tell my oldest son, uh, I said something to him and he was like, well, now you're starting to sound like one of these, uh, he took a leadership class for like two weeks at the beginning of summer. He's like, well, now you're starting to sound like one of these like leadership people here. And I was like, well, my response to him was, I was like, well, I am a leader, you know? And last night I was just like, <clears throat> how that feels in my body, how I see it, how that image is in my mind, like that's starting to change. Um, I feel like I'm growing into that in a deeper meaning, more meaningful and impactful way. Uh, something that's just a more powerful image in my mind and in my body. So I just find that something curious to, to mark on, to remark on. The last thing, and this, this is an this is an interesting thing. This is about boundaries, and this is something I struggled with for a long time. Like, and I say a long time because it's been like six months. Well, not quite, but yeah, about six months, right? So, at the beginning of the year, everything's changing for me. Going through the divorce, Reese and I are trying to figure out like who's going to handle the filing, right? Are we gonna? Do we, do we get a divorce lawyer? Like, do, what, like, what are we doing here? What do we need to do? Like, what's prudent for us? Um, ultimately, and this is the thing, like, in some of the videos that you may have seen me, like, where I'm like, it's not the right form to talk about. I've kind of been, like, back many, many, many videos towards the beginning. I was like, there's three things that I'm uncertain about. Well, and one of those was a friendship, right? And so I last night was really feeling into this and I have been over the last week because I mean over the last like ever since it's been coming up like I've just been let me put it this way let me just get to it I've had a relationship I've known uh, the, a guy who's like a really good friend of mine for again uh, this is another friend that I've known for like since I was four so I've known two guys since I was four right one lived basically across the street from me. He's basically my brother. Um, and then another one didn't live like right across the street from me, but we went to all of the same schools. We met in kindergarten. And so we've been associated and, and friends, you know, for ever since then. Um, so what came up for me is that <clears throat> this gentleman is a, is a lawyer. <clears throat> Sorry, I apologize. My, this gentleman's a lawyer. And he ended up mediating the, um, the divorce. And when that happened, when he became part of that process, just energetically, man, I, I, it, it shifted for me. You know what I mean? It shifted. And it just got me reevaluating and thinking about things. And I struggled with this for, for months because I was really not sure what to do or how to be with this. Um, because it's another, uh, like this person didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like there's no offense, there's no transgression or anything like that yet when I feel it in my body and there's like with alignment and my truth and everything like that, like it, I didn't like, I didn't like the truth and I wanted to ignore the truth and I didn't want to face it. And I knew that there were conversations that I, I wanted to have with this individual. Right. And it never, it wasn't working out. I remember reaching out probably two or three times, um, to connect, you know, to see him in person so we could talk and basically have this conversation in person, but that it just never worked out. And I just, over the last week or so, just started, especially last night during the fire ritual, was just feeling into, you know, um, the relationship and the source of it, what, 
what feelings it inspired in me like what was the cause of the relationship where was it coming from inside of me you know what I mean like where what part of my identity was uh, attracting that and what was I getting in like what was I putting into the relationship what was I getting out like the health of it like all of this kind of stuff like just and just feeling into it energetically did I need to actually have a conversation, you know, or can and I just, does it feel aligned to just move this individual like on another side of a boundary that, and they don't even know that they've been placed there until maybe they try to reach out and it's like, wait, what's going on? Like, right. So what is, what is the most aligned way of being to, to navigate this, you know? And I, I was really struggling with this over the, over the past couple of months and, and just recently over the last couple of weeks for sure. And just kind of coming into the head of, of the new moon. So long story short, um, I've been through enough of these things where I know that like, I got to make a choice. And one, as soon as I make a choice and I feel that and I'm embodying it, then the universe collapses around that choice to support it. And then like, there's the ripple, right? There's the, the wake of the decision, you know, so to speak, um, the waves. And so I was feeling into that and made a decision mentally in my body, um, allowed myself to, to sleep on it and then woke up this morning and, uh, took action to, you know, to do that. So I've, I've removed this, you know, I've unfollowed this individual. I've, uh, you know, all of those kinds of things just to kind of like release or disconnect this, this relationship. Uh, and I didn't communicate anything to this individual and I'm, I'm in alignment with that because I feel like I feel like most of the time I was the one chasing the relationship is basically is what it's coming down to. You know what I mean? I felt like I was the one most of the time, like desiring the connection. And then you know, I'm like, that's no, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, so I, I made that choice. And so that's, that's, it's a big deal to me because that's a 40, it's a 40 year old relationship that I am moving onto another side of a boundary and that's for me, you know? And then I'd say, what's interesting is that my friend that did the, uh, the breath work, right? I checked, she posted her, uh, <laughs> on her story. And like the very first, uh, picture was, was a message that was like, you know, the more, the more aligned you become with yourself, the stronger your boundaries need to be, you know? And it was just like this message. And I was like, dude, I was like, what's up universe. Um, so it just seemed to be, and again, I call this friend miss universe, right? Like, so it's <laughs> I'm like, okay, thank you. Um, so it's, I think I'm still probably processing some stuff around that. Um, so I know I've spoken a lot. I haven't put a video out, uh, and, like a day or something like that. So, uh, just wanted to put that out there. I do want to say too, that last week totally felt like a hurry up and wait week where it was like, okay, you've done some things waiting, waiting. I absolutely feel like this next week is a week of movement. I really, really believe that there's going to be some things happening that, uh, it'll be more of an action, action oriented week. You know what I mean? I think things will be arriving um, yeah, yeah, we're going to see. And then we've also got the, the solstice coming up too, like on the, on Wednesday, if I, if I remember right. So we'll see. <clears throat> All right. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for journeying with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for our relationship. Thanks for the time and the space. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.